Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Double Archangel, and this one is not the usual entertainment kind of video with a cringe intro. It's actually gonna be a tutorial. So, welcome to my new series, Double Archangel Tutorials. So what we're gonna do is make a photo manipulation. Uh, a pretty basic one, but well, it turned out pretty great still. And uh, we're gonna go through it in a matter of me being there for you guys and help you out how to figure out how to make better compositions or how to make good compositions uh, by my experience in photo manipulation art. So, we're gonna go through the basics and I will go through making this art piece that you already have seen on the thumbnail uh, from the beginning in a time-lapse matter but also in a live pace kind of way. So, instead of me going through this artwork in a fast time-lapse and voiceover I will do this in real time uh, by having my camera on all the time when we do this. I will jump a little every now and then when it comes to something that isn't that relevant. Uh, what I want to say is this artwork took me one hour to make and I won't make a one hour video. So this tutorial will be 15 minutes long. So uh, I will make timestamps on on this video that you can jump to in the description below. Anyway, I hope you like this new series of mine tutorials, you can call it tutorials, uh, for basic photo manipulation. I hope you learn something, I really do hope you learn from this and make some great art and if you do Please send it to my email, uh, the link is also down below in the description. And I will check these out later on. However, please like and subscribe, share the videos, why not tell others about it also, and stay tuned for more. And also the entertaining video will come out later this week. Anyway, let's begin with the tutorial. Unfortunately, you have to see my face this time because I will make these tutorials with my face cam on and uh, and like I said in the beginning uh, in the introduction this tutorial is gonna go through how to make better photo manipulation compositions in a basic level. So what is a composition? Um, basically when you have a picture that is taken authentically with a photo camera, it has stuff in it and nobody has changed anything right. What you can do is change the angle or use different kind of lenses or so on to make the composition uh, a desirable outcome. However, you can't change uh, the actual looks, but that's what you do in photo manipulation. So photo manipulation art uh, basically is photo photographs that are bashed together. So-called pho photo bashing. Photo bashing is though uh, another uh, word for another, uh, another term. And uh, in a future video, I can go through these two. We will go through in this tutorial uh, how to make a basic composition, but still get quite awesome feel to the actual artwork. So I will try to keep this very simple and uh, we will use about four to five pictures only in this artwork. And I hope you can follow along and uh, leave comments down below if you want more of these videos uh, that are super basic but still um, making a great outcome. Um, so 
we start with a background, right? We need a background, a subject, some overlays. I will go through what overlays are and why we use them and why they are so freaking incredible for this kind of or medium and uh, a foreground. That's all. So we start with the background and uh, I use my my workspace is clean. Uh, every Everything around me here that is in this space station <laughs> is always uh, cleaned up and in nice orders. And so I also like to keep this Photoshop. So we start with the library and um, I use Photoshop CC, uh, a licensed version of course. I, I hope you do too. So uh, anyway, create a new library and we're gonna call this Jack the Reaper and this gives an idea right already so I start to add stuff that I have picked out already uh, in advance for for this tutorial so we need a background right okay so I found this uh, super neat forest in uh, unsplash.com so this is our background and we're working in a space of 16 uh, by 9 that is the double size of uh, Instagram post. Let's start with this background. We're making it without distorting it. Pulling out and the mouse in one corner. We drag and we get the picture to get larger without uh, changing any aspect ratios. So this is the background that we have and uh, we also need a uh, a subject so I have these women with a lantern these are from Adobe stock also paid a license so I thought one of these is what we're gonna use and I'm gonna open up every single one so this girl or woman is looking right at the camera that's maybe what we want I'm not sure uh, the next one same thing but this pose is more dy dynamic and I know I can use the light source better here than in we'll see we we'll see which one I use. the last one uh, she she looks crooked and I think we scrapped this one totally uh, the first thing we do is uh, clip out this woman now I will do this off camera so back in a moment now I masked her and uh, we're gonna use this layer by copying it Control C uh, with the mask uh, this makes non-destructible so uh, we have every single pixel around her still left now with alt in we're gonna drag her smaller and right about in the middle of the picture so how do I know how big she should be hmm uh, one thumb rule that is easy is to use these uh, you're dragging from the from the ruler these lines and uh, you're gonna find something that you know just about how big it is like these trees for example so I'm gonna drag this that I think is uh, about one meter a little lower and uh, place her in the middle of the picture make her a little smaller anyway let's keep her here and now I'm gonna make the foreground so Jack the Ripper right that's a man with a knife, a murderer. So I have these knives and I decided that I'm gonna keep the mystery by using just a hand actually. Adding these to the library, keeping everything neat. I think this one is to use. I have already even marked it to use. So I will mask this one also off camera. Be right back. Okay, so hi again, we're back. And the same thing with this picture as with the woman. It's masked and we're gonna use the whole picture copying it Control C, paste it in Control V and holding Alt in the corner making it smaller and adding it in the composition. We're gonna make it big enough so that it, you see that it's from the camera angle like that. Now, now when we have these subjects here, uh, we have three layers, right? And we are only gonna work with uh, these three layers, actually. Not four, but she is in the wrong place. So I'm gonna put her so that it looks like she's looking this fellow with the knife right in the eyes. Even though she does not know he's here. Or she. And to make this composition more looking like 
it actually looks like this. We're gonna distort this background picture a little. Just, just slightly. Let's add all these in a group. Naming, naming the groups is a great idea. I usually do it, but not always. Then we have two more groups. The subject, adding the subject there, and the foreground, adding the foreground there. Let's start by making this nighttime. Now what makes a picture pop? Or this is my, my opinion. But what I strive for is two colors. I like to use two colors that are the main colors in the picture and work around these. Or more, but not a monotone. But you can make a monotone also, that's okay. Anyway, I decided already that I am gonna use uh, two complementary colors. Complementary colors means in the color wheel you have uh, one side and the other. Uh, I usually don't do this but I'm gonna show. So uh, here's the color, the normal color, color picker in Photoshop and uh, we're gonna put the color wheel. So complementary colors that are gonna be used in this picture are yellow and blue. So they are uh, opposite, opposite sides of each other. Uh, blue and orange are the most common complementary use of colors or uh, green and purple. You can use basically any of these colors of course but this is gonna make a natural look and it's like gonna look really cool like I'll tell you. Anyway let's put this back here and uh, we start by hiding these other pictures so we're gonna just work in the background and um, I'm actually gonna lock these so so we don't do anything funny and I have a tip and this is a, uh, an extra, extra tip in this tutorial uh, how to make this exact scene a night scene that is in a blue shade so instead of you, we, we could go hue and saturation and and make it dark blue, right? But it doesn't doesn't really look natural, does it? No, it, it it becomes this magical forest. Well, we want a natural one, so let's not do this. What I usually do is add a gradient above it. And no worries if you can't see the picture right now. So we're gonna pick blues and we're gonna pick a dark blue, but with a quite high vibrancy. This looks good to me. So in the color picker, I think the darker color should be even darker. It, it should be nearly black or maybe gray, nearly gray. Yeah, that's better. And the lighter color should have some gray in it, but be much, much lighter. Then we're gonna change this around. You can just press on reverse here, but I did it this way that, this time. Uh, so, um, we're gonna change the angle a little, other way, like this. And uh, the dark part should be even darker. So we're making this gradient in satisfaction of our own will. It doesn't really matter, but the only thing that we have to keep in mind is uh, in the middle we have the subject here and she holds a lantern, right? And uh, this lantern is gonna be the only actual light source in the picture. So I want, I want it to be a little more light there, like this. So uh, now we're gonna play around with the layer style linear light so to make it a little less dark let's uh, drag down the opacity like that and in the blending options we have this underlaying this is called blend if uh, holding alt key in the underlaying layer and dragging to the right we're getting a smoother blend now it's quite light still but it has this blue feel right so so we can try copying this one again and now it's very very vibrant so uh, changing this upper blend mode to color and then again blend if holding alt key bringing back some of the background color but now I also want the red leaves to actually be bluish so let's do that that's with the hue and saturation so now they are blue but they are magical still so we're gonna 
drag down the saturation like that and a little even the lightness like that so uh, now it's a mystical forest but we have this light area here right so I'm gonna add a levels adjustment layer drag the blacks down dragging the white from the from the from this lower dial down adding a little gray like this but now now it's very dark so we have this mask over here control i and making it black takes it away and then we're gonna mask out an area with the brush with a white brush uh, that is soft brown with with low pressure so we're gonna bring back some of that dark over bright over here so but i still think this is a little too light right so i'm gonna make one more layer and uh, just paint simply black over this one. Oh no now we destroyed this picture right actually no we didn't check this out so change this to soft light yes that's perfect now we can mask away some of this now now we are basically done with the with the basic background let's lock that one unlock subject layer add her yeah she she doesn't look good though does she no uh not fitting in at all so we take these gradient layers and u layers from here hold alt and bring them up to the subject this adding them holding alt clip as a clipping mask over her uh starting with this hue and saturation layer that i have here we could just drop it actually but i'm gonna try blend if more su subtle change in the colors so uh we have this lantern here, right? So I am gonna mask away from this lantern the hue, first gradient, maybe the second even? Yeah, the second gradient from her clothes because this lantern will be lit up and that make her clothes are gonna look as they should in the neutral picture. Uh, to help around with some stuff in the future, we're also gonna take away a little more from her clothes around the lantern and her hair and the face that is facing the lantern. Basically everything that is close to the lantern except for the lantern itself. So you see, I have only made a color overlay, a color adjustment uh, with help of some gradients and a hue saturation and then just taking them away and it already looks like she's holding something that is lit up. I haven't added the yellow even yet. I will though. However, now we're done with her. So, for now. So I will lock this one and open up the foreground back and yeah, this looks really wrong, right? So now we're gonna take from the background again all these three layers, copy them or just keep alt alt key in and drag with the mouse above this layer and then hold alt again and clipping mask him to this layer look at that now we're gonna do the same thing with the foreground taking away of the blue where we think that the light is gonna hit from the light source being this lantern over here so the surface of metal for example and your skin uh, reflects light very well it's time for the fourth group being the yellow color uh, I'm gonna use this adjustment layer called solid color and make it a quite vibrant yellow a little to the orange side I think and then we're gonna play around with the layer styles again so what I'm searching for is the highlights, what they look like. This looks quite nice, overlay. Soft light looks, I think, even better. Soft light it is. So we're gonna mask this off, zoom in. Now it's time to add the light source, being this lantern here. So I'm just gonna add yellow inside this. And don't don't worry about it looking empty. It, it will be fixed. So uh, anyway, we're gonna also take forth some of that yellow light that we have even more and make it pop more. Now with the yellow, I will add some in the lantern on the places where I think that light will hit. At this phase, 
uh, you shouldn't concern about light being around around the place. This comes later on, and I I will show an easy way, an easy step to make it look good. A good way to check what your um, work looks like is hitting this navigator tab, and you see how it looks on uh, zoomed out. Bird's, bird's eye view so I'm gonna off camera do the same thing to the foreground subject now to make sure these hits the, the right places uh, we're gonna clip them so I'm gonna copy this into the foreground and clip it and to the subject and also clip it. Uh, bringing down the opacity a little so, so it's not that strong, like an unnatural yellow. That's not what we're after. So this upper layer is not clipped, but it's, it's a control that I have. So now when we see where the light is, we notice that the background still needs more light so I will off camera make this happen too so um, now when we have established the the colors that we want from this picture uh, this hand is obviously too too light for for this composition anyway um, I will finish this piece off uh, in a time lapse. However, the, the tutorial was how to make better compositions in photo manipulations with a small effort. And well, this does not look good yet, but the composition does. And all I've done is determined what kind of background I want, what kind of subjects I want, uh, what the scene is about and where the light source is so these are the things keeping in mind and so we have a background we made it darker in a blue color oh yeah and also what color color uh, world we are we are gonna make the actual art in so uh, also it's been some hours here in between so I, I've changed clothes but no worries it's the same tutorial still anyway so uh, the next thing I will do is um, determine the shadows and they will be based on the surrounding light that is this ambient blue all over the place and I will keep in mind where the shadows are on the original picture of the background and the second one is this light source over here. And uh, before that, I will make these highlights near near the light source still, so it looks more organic. So let's do that. So before I start my time lapse, uh, what I will do is simply copying this layer down all the way down with the Alt key, dragging it all the way down to the background group and uh, Ctrl A, marking all the area in the mask and delete the mask. And now I will only use this this layer as the layer for the light on the background. So this is future Double Arch Angel and while I'm finishing this piece off uh, this was the end of the tutorial because this was meant to be for the composition and yeah, I'm talking still here, going on like you would hear what I'm saying, but ignore that. Uh, I will teach about uh, overlays like I'm now doing uh, in a later tutorial, uh, probably next week, so stay tuned for that. Simple guys, is in the beginning what you should do, and that makes it a great picture. I hope this tutorial has helped you and if you like these kind of videos 
please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials in uh, different aspects about photo manipulation that I will teach you. But I also have my entertainment videos uh, where I make a speed art uh, time lapse like this one, but just a time lapse with a voiceover and a cringe intro instead of this intro that introduction that I had for this video being more professional per se. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please like and subscribe, share the videos and stay tuned for the next one next week. Bye.